Egypt's finance ministry has announced it's in the final stages of a deal with the International Monetary Fund. The IMF is sending a team this weekend to spend two weeks assessing the country's needs. Um, we welcome this request and look forward to discussing policies that can help Egypt meet its economic challenges. As, as we've noted, our goals uh, are to help Egypt return to economic stability and to support strong, sustainable, job-rich growth. Foreign currency has been hard to come by because investors and tourists have been concerned about the risks posed by political instability and the threat of terrorism. Egypt's requested a 12 billion US dollar loan package over three years. Uh, the scale of IMF financing will depend on the mission team's assessment during the visit of the financing needs and the strength of the authorities' reform program. Beyond that, I can't get more specific about actual numbers. It's a little early in the game. Since the overthrow of Hosni Mubarak in 2011, Egypt has twice withdrawn from similar deals with the IMF because of domestic political opposition to the fund's involvement in the economy. But recently, Egypt has embarked on reforms generally viewed by the IMF as positive reducing government subsidies, moving towards a value-added tax and allowing a more flexible currency exchange system. Any future deal with the IMF is not just about the money. It could also help to strengthen confidence among international investors, lenders and other global financing institutions. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.